Yo, conductor. peace and salute to you all. I am Conductor Williams. This video, we're going to get into a beat breakdown of a song I did for Conway the Machine and Stove Guy Cooks. The song is called Muddy. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Con yeah. Okay, okay. It's on Conway's album, Slant Face Killer, that's streaming right now on all platforms. So however you stream and buy music, download music, whatever, it's there. Slant Face Killer, Conway the Machine, the album's out now. Incredible song. Every time I hear Stove Guy Cooks rap, I say it's his best verse. It's my favorite verse. Um, same with Conway. Every time he starts rapping, I'm like, yo, that's my favorite. That's my favorite shit right there. I will say that about this, and I can say that about Muddy, is it's one of my favorite joints, you know. Before we get into the beat breakdown, I want to acknowledge that June is men's mental health month. So definitely be taking care of yourself. That kind of ties into the sponsor of this video today, and that's BetterHelp. BetterHelp's a platform. It's got 30,000 or more at this point. Therapists on their license to help you out, man. You go on betterhelp.com. You go through the survey. They link you up with somebody that they feel is compatible. If you're not really, you know what I'm saying, gelling with that therapist, then you can find another one free of charge. So much to do. At, I mean, in adult life, college, whatever stage of life you're at, things move fast. And, uh, you know, brain fog, mental fatigue, spiritual fog, spiritual fatigue is, is a real deal. So if you can find someone to talk to, find someone to, like, get some clarity, take advantage. BetterHelp is a great platform for that. You can uh, video chat however you want to do it. There is a schedule for everybody. It's a great platform. So betterhelp.com forward slash Conductor Williams. Get a little discount off of things too. You know what I'm saying? Thank me later. We got the Patreon. Patreon.com Conductor Williams. Plenty of beat contests. Got that going crazy. Got the merch going crazy. You know, between BetterHelp platform, the Patreon, and, you know, looking right. You got all three things covered. You know what I'm saying? So definitely treat yourself. Treat yourself. Take care of yourself. Let's get into this beat breakdown of uh, a Muddy. Let's go. So Muddy produced this with my man Napes. Y'all know Napes at this point is a like usual suspect. He's probably one of the only musicians, producers that I've collaborated with probably the most. I've worked with a few others, but Napes definitely, definitely gel, man. We got some shit. So Napes sent me over the joint. And the special thing about this beat is that it happened fast. Like, he sent me the idea. I loaded it in the machine. I liked it. It went in the machine, and it came out of the machine. Like, Napes sent the input. The input went in, and then I spewed it out. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't a whole lot of thinking. It wasn't a whole lot of process. And once I heard the sample, I'm like, yo, that is, that's a banger. That's a banger. And I didn't really, you know, unlike mercury thermometers that I did for Drew. I heard Drew go on, on mercury thermometers. On this, I didn't really hear anybody. I, I just knew it was a banger. I knew I liked it and I knew I wanted, you know what I'm saying, to keep keep the shit as raw as possible. So here go the chops of it. So that's the original played original. So the chops of it, of course, once I got a hold of it, I seasoned it, um, did my time stretching, did everything to it, and let's get our mutes together here real quick. All right, boom. Put the flash on it. You got a flash? Yeah. So that's how we got going here. The sample. left all that I left all the fucking grease in the in the skillet with that shit like it's just frying around you know what I mean drums mm. alright so I, I had that rocking and I had this idea originally when I was making it cause I about had to be done like now this is done this is done fuck it let's do another one but I got to thinking now, now I'm like producing and trying to find a place for it to live. So how is this going to live? How is the artist going to consume, uh, 
consume this when they hear it on the beat tape? How are they gonna process an idea? Even if it is just a straightforward banger and this is all we got for them. How can we package this thing up? I know it needed one more element. I thought the element at first was to uh, filter the sample and just like, uh, I thought it was gonna be to do something like that. Um, filter that sample and then have um, Conway rap over this part because you'd be able to hear him clearly and then for the chorus you know what I'm saying give give the high end of it so I thought that was an idea that could work and I did it and it sucked it did, I didn't like it so I'm like yo let's see how I can get another B section because I'm thinking the A section and B section that's it like cool like chill out a section, B section. And then I found this little part that Nape sent. He sent it separate. And I liked it that. But I, I didn't, I, for whatever reasons, I, I don't like the, uh, that, ding, 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 ding. Like, I don't like that. So I just use it as a stab. You know, like, so I just use it as a stab. I just like that tone right there. All right, so in minimalist fashion, um, I didn't multi-track the shit. I could have, but I didn't. So the song opens up like this. So the, it, it opening like that is me actually just doing it like how I just did. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> a nigga play with machine, ain't here to tell about it. Ah, he was an innocent kid, streets made him felon out. What? Hey, yo. They sent the draft back to me, and Conway's doing that on it. Like, he, he had the shit on there. I don't think, I think the first version that he sent didn't have stove on it. He ain't had stove on the first version, but he had stove on the uh, second version of it. But when he when he hit that, okay, okay, mm, da, 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 okay, okay, like it's just like some shit you just can't. I can't, couldn't have even imagined that pocket happening. But that's the the pureness of of uh, collaboration is like I sent it with no expectations except for however this make you feel is how you feel. Like I said, there's certain instances like with Droog where I heard the Mercury Thermometers beat and I'm like, yeah, Droog needs to be on this. I, I I hear his voice like an instrument. Most of the time, I'm just like, yo, whatever you feeling, like do it. So Conway did something special on this track that really makes this one of my favorite productions that I've done. What he did that was so special in his genius, he came up with like, I had two parts, an A and a B. He created like four sections. So he's got, really uh, a couple vamps, a pre-chorus, and then the raps. But you get the... Uh, Conductor. You get the... Hold up. Mm, okay. Oh. You get the... You get the... Okay. 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 So you can you can count that. Out. Well, I don't count that. Uh, Nick play with machine ain't here to tell about it. Mm -hmm. He goes through his list. Da -da, ain't here to tell about it. So that's one part. And then another little section he said he was an innocent kid. Streets made a felon out of him. He was an innocent kid. Streets made a felon out of him. So it's like he created those if you want to call it three parts, but they're so memorable, they're so impactful, they're so special to where we ain't even got to the raps yet. And he's got you like, he's got the mill, the, the churning going, you know what I'm saying? That's what's special about Conway is he understands when it's time to rap his ass off. And then he understands when it's time to create a groove. And we would honestly have a problem if he was like an R&B singing like type nigga, you know what I mean? Because he just understands those pockets so well. I seen, uh, it was either a, a YouTube short or something of him. He's on tour right now. I don't know if he came out to this shit. I don't know if he came out to it. 
But I can imagine if he came out to... I'd run it again. I'd run it again. I'd run it again. You know what I mean? If he came out to that um, with the Sonics and with the thing, it's like... It's so crazy, but in in the, anyways, in the YouTube short, he was on stage. It's playing, and the crowd is going, "Okay, okay." He ain't, he hadn't even said a rap yet, and this album has only been out. I don't think it's been out a month. Maybe it's been out a month. They're just like, "Okay, okay." He was an innocent kid. Streets made a felon out of him. They're doing all the do 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 do, like all that Griselda shit. They're doing all of that, and um, you know, he killed. He slaughtered it, man. Slaughtered that shit, bruh. I'm going to tell y'all something that's, I'm going to tell y'all something that is awesome, man. And something about degrees of separation from being where you need to be and where God wants you to be um, with this. In 2010, 11, 12, 13, I was with my man Les Ismore making this kind of music, y'all. I was making this kind of music now. Granted, it, I don't feel that I was at the level of where I'm at now skill-wise, but I was making this music and me and my brother Ismore was calling it raw music you know that raw music like that was the whole thing that we were saying the whole time whoever was working with me was on doing the raw was on the raw music shit and they understood what was happening but me and izzy kind of coined that for the style of music that we make it's that raw music man on the other side of the country in atlanta and some other places were this collective and they were calling it griselda and they were doing their own they were doing their own thing I had no link to Griselda until 2019. So, you know, almost 10 years later, I'm over here doing this. They're over there doing that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Camouflage Monk, Derringer. Them brothers over there doing that. I'm over here making this. And we meet in the middle. When you hear a record like Muddy, it sounds like the origins. And it's a Griselda sounding tune. You know what I'm saying? It's a Griselda sounding tune, man. And it's what they brought to the game. Or if you on my side of the fence... That's that raw music. You know what I'm saying? Thank God that we all met and thank God that this collective group of individuals, man, starting with West Side Gun, are people like me. And you know what I'm saying? Cool with being an outsider. Cool with being different. Cool with taking a risk. Because you got records like this that are just straightforward. You get it. And then you have records that I've done like, let's say, Frank Murphy. For all of my Griselda fans, West Side Gun fans, Eurostep, you got records like that. They're on the other side of this coin. Muddy's on this side of the coin. Eurostep's on the other side of the coin. And it's still hip hop and it's still whatever, but it's just two different forms of it. And that's why I love rocking with my brothers, the whole Griselda shit, man. And that's why I love it. That's why I will continue um, to, you know, supply the heat. Stove got cooked on there too. Stove got cooked on there, man. I'm Bronny, you not. You know what I mean? Like, he always goes through the whole shit. Richard Jefferson line was crazy. So many crazy lines on this, man. In the comment section, drop your favorite bar. Your favorite group of bars. Because it's rarely one bar. It's all normally like a group of bars. When you're talking about Stove God and you're talking about Conway the Machine. But yeah, man, take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mental, spiritual health, mind, body, soul. Hit the website, conductorweaveaproblem.com. Conductor, we have a Cop problem. Cop the merch, Patreon, sign up, beat contest for all my producers out there. Beat contest every month where I'm doubling down on the prizes every month. Every month it gets more intense. Two months ago, there were only 27 entries. The second contest was 104, 103, 104 entries. So now we're on our third beat contest, patreon.com. Conductor Williams, hop in one of the beat contests, man. You know what I mean? 20 bucks. Become a member. There's all kind of other perks to it also. But that's all I got, man. Whatever. Do whatever you want. I'm here. I'm supplying the content. I'm supplying the gold. I'm going to keep making joints no matter what. So, yeah. Conductor, out. Conductor, we have a problem.